Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over Langchain Expression Language. This is the first video in a series where I'm going to be doing a deep dive into Langchain Expression Language. I'll give you the pros and cons, show you how to use it, and explain what is actually going on when you're using it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I have a notebook set up here. You're going to need to use Langchain, OpenAI, TikToken, FAI, SS, CPU, and that's all that you'll need for this walkthrough. Once you've installed that, I'm just going to take this opportunity to first go over what the pipe operator is in Langchain Expression Language. So if you come over here, you'll see that it looks something like this. And basically what is going on is that the output of the first object is going to be the input of the second object. So if you look here, for example, you, you see we have this code snippet here. You first get the prompt from chat prompt template, then you have a model, and you put in an output parser. And to create a chain, all you need to do is use this pipe operator here and first pass the prompt, then the model, then the output parser. And so what's going to happen is the output from the prompt is going to give us something that looks like this. And then that is going to be passed into the model and then we get the output of the model that'll look something like this. And then that will be passed to the output parser. So that's pretty much what the Langchain Expression Language does. It just helps you more compactly and concisely create chains, agents, and any other type of system that you're trying to set up with Langchain. The second thing to know about Langchain Expression Language is that every Langchain Expression object implements the runnable interface, which exposes these functions here. So each one of these LCEL objects has a stream, invoke, and batch synchronous functions, and then a stream, AI invoke, a batch, and a stream log. They also come with input and output schemas. So like I mentioned before, the output of the first part of the chain is going to be the input for the second part. And so every time you have a and so if you look here, you can see we've got the same sort of setup here where we have the model, the prompt, and then the chain made from the prompt and the model. And then you can actually inspect the input schema of each part of this pipeline. So the first one is the chain input schema. So it's expecting a topic. So as you can see, the chain input schema here, then we have the prompt input schema, and then we have the model input schema, which outputs this entire thing. So as you can see, each output has a schema that is an exact match for the input schema of the next LCEL object in the pipeline. And I have a couple more functions here that where I was just showing off how you can use them. So you have chain.stream, so that literally, literally lets you stream out of the box. And so onto the prompts, this one's gonna be really quick. I just wanna give you a walkthrough of how you can use it here today. We have the example where we get a prompt from the chat prompt template and we say, tell me a joke about foo. We get a model chat open AI and then you can create a chain by combining the prompt with the model and using the pipe operator and so we can do things like adding a stop sequence so when I create the chain I can have the model have a stop sequence that stops at the new line so as you can see the output here is going to have no new lines and now on to rag with lang chain expression language objects so we import all the stuff we need up here and then we're going to set up the vector store and I'm just going to feed it a little bit of information about me. So that's going to be, I like EDM music and I like working out. We then create a retriever by calling vector store as retriever. So now this is a retriever and then we have our template, which says answer the question based only on the context. And then we have the question Then we instantiate a prompt from chat prompt template dot from templates then we get the model and then we create the chain here using the pipe operator so first what's going to happen is we're going to set the arguments of context and question to retriever and runnable pass through respectively so the runnable pass through is going to allow this to pass through as the question and the context we are going to get from the retriever and the retriever is going to fetch relevant documents based on the question and then these two outputs from here are going to be the inputs to the prompt and then that output of the prompt with the template and all of the variables that have been passed through will be passed to the model 
and then the output from the model would be passed to the str output parser. So let's just run it right now. And it says, there you go, Merc like CDM music. And now on to a bit of a more complex example where I have a template that is asking the model to also answer as a certain type of character. So what's happening here is we're, everything remains the same except when we're creating the chain, we're using item getter that we imported from above before from the operator package. And essentially, the con we're getting the question from the arguments and that is going to be passed into the retriever and that will output what we need as the context to get the context that we need. And then we are getting the question again using item getter and then we're just passing it to question and we're getting the character type again from the arguments. So the output of all this will be passed to the prompt. So each of these arguments will be filled out uh, once these are done. And then the output from the prompt is gonna be passed to the model. And then the output of the model will be passed to the str output parser giving us this. So I say invoke with the question, what kind of music does Merc like? And I said, uh, character type army soldier, let's say pirate, because we all love that example that we see all the time. Our matey, Merc be like in EDM music, ye scurvy dog. Okay, cool. So as you can see, language and expression language is definitely something that is interesting. And what are the pros and cons to using it? I would say that one of the pros is, is that it implements a standard interface in the form of runnable. So all, all of the objects with Langchain expression language have the same functions that you can call. So you can call invoke, stream, etc. cetera. Um, I think it's also just less lines of code. So they show you on the documentation how it's easier to set up a chain uh, or mostly anything. And it's just easier to do the logic um, in general because you have the built-in runnable interface along with the pipe operator to make building chains and then also calling them more concise than if you rolled your own functions to do so. So I would say those are the pros to it and I would say the cons are it does tend to wrap a lot into it under the hood so if you're not familiar with Langchain and this is where you're starting it might be a little difficult to understand where things are happening and how the entire flow kind of works. Um, I would recommend just reading through the documentation, especially reading through the interface and then also the getting started page where they talk about the pipeline and how everything works. And I will show you how to do more complex things in the next video. I just wanted to give this as an intro and maybe we can do a deep dive into the runnable interface more as well as how to build other things such as agents. So if you like the video, let me know, drop a comment, drop a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, uh, join the Discord, hit me up, and uh, until next time, much love and peace, y'all.